Much of Paul Taylor's life has been intertwined with ADF. It's the very festival where he met Martha Graham. Charles Reinhardt, who directed the festival for 43 years, thought that if you believe in an artist of this level of genius, you should support them throughout their career. Every summer, ADF audiences look forward to Paul Taylor Dance Company's performances. And this year, they'll be doing works that span several decades, including early works like Ariel and more recent pieces like Gossamer Gallants, Taylor's Invasion of the Insect Kingdom, created in 2011, and Piazzola Caldera from 1997, which is a sultry and sexy take on the tango. Big Bertha, a work from 1970, shows a more sinister side to the Taylor canon. In an American allegory of a happy family, things unravel when a huge mechanical doll casts her macabre spell. The piece brings up some pretty dark subjects, from child abuse to the dissolution of the American family. The sun rises again with Ariel, Taylor's 1962 white ballet illumination of Handel. The piece was commissioned by ADF, and it's now celebrating its 50th anniversary. Ariel is loaded with milestones. It was the first ballet Taylor ever licensed to a ballet company, the Royal Danish Ballet, and it was the last piece he ever danced. The movement is lush and it's loaded with parallel assemblés with upward reaching arms that are known as the Taylor signature. Ariel has such volume and it's remarkable that it's performed by only five dancers. At 50, it still feels timeless. Taylor said, I make dances I think I'd like to see. Chances are you want to see them too.